Great. Dr. Racket started up, and the language that's chosen is Intermediate Student with Lambda. We're going to require picturing programs. Read that in by typing Control T, and give yourself lots of real estate for interactions with Control D. Let's get at least one image to use. Now, I can express that image as I've done before, but I can also combine it with itself or other images. This chameleon can be beside itself multiple times, or it can be above itself. I can combine numbers and strings to give instructions to build a circle of a certain size. So here is a circle of radius 160. Now I can overlay the chameleon with that circle. So I'll copy the circle. Oops, my buffer seems to be infested with chameleons. Let's try copying that again. Paste in the circle and overlay a chameleon in a circle. I can combine numbers with plus. It seems a little weird to combine two numbers with plus ahead of them, but when there's more than two, this ends up being convenient. Similarly, I can combine numbers with multiplication. If I want to combine more than two of them, this prefix multiplication is convenient once again. Similarly, I can divide one half by two thirds, divide that by three quarters, divide that by four fifths, and divide that by five sixths. That's what I get. I can subtract two thirds from one half and then subtract three quarters from that and so on. Here's what I get. Sometimes I want to make sure that division gives me back integers. So here's the number of times 9 goes into 15. I use quotient for that. Here's how many times 9 goes into 24. Of course, goes into is not sufficient unless we know the remainder. 9 goes into 24 twice with remainder 6. I can combine strings with string append. I can get truth by combining numbers or falsity by combining numbers, asking whether one is greater than or less than the other. I can get truth or falsity by asking if numbers are equal. Notice the question mark. This asks me whether half is less than one and one is less than two. Notice that the very similar question ends up giving a false answer. I can ask whether half is less than 1 or half is equal to 1. This is the long way of asking, is a half less than or equal to 1? How about asking whether a half is greater than 1 or a half is equal to 1? Well, that's just false. How about asking whether half is less than 1 and a half is equal to 1? False again.